bloke still has his cool and tells us about the classes into which rallycross cars are divided. Well, it's basically in Formula A, anything goes. You're allowed, as long as the silhouette of the car stays the same and the engine is the same number of cylinders, fits in the hole, you've got a fairly free hand. We've gone the turbocharged four-wheel drive route. We've got a basic Manta 400 engine with a very large turbocharger off of uh, one of the BMW Formula 1 cars. It then goes, follows through into a very large intercooler which cools all the air down and forces it through the injection system into the engine and basically the more that you turn the wick up the quicker it goes. There's variations of, of this but basically that is how a turbocharged engine works. We've then got a very sophisticated four wheel drive system on the car which we can alter the bias front to back and that happens very easy from, if I can show you inside the cockpit, there's a little lever which is just here. When you push it forward you have 50% four wheel drive on the front and when you pull it back you have 25% four wheel drive. Very sophisticated extract system. The whole car is built around the roll cage to give it strength, stability and hang all the Kevlar panels which most of the rallycross cars have got. The back of the cars are all fairly simple. In these ones we've just carry the radiator, fuel pumps, very large tank for the oil and an oil cooler. Uh, really you've got to put the stuff wherever it fits because there's no room in the front. A lot of these type of cars in Formula Ray actually carry the radiator in the back of the car. For that you'll find there's a, a different weight balance but really it's to get the balance of the car and use the room that you've got effectively.